Hey YouTubers, Neil and Neil's Coins. Got some proof sets to show you. But before I get to the proof sets, I want to thank you for uh, all y'all for subscribing. Uh, been kind of hectic here lately. I've been on vacation. Uh, before this video, I showed one with our coin club. Uh, I think I labeled it Monday night at the coin club. But um, if you're interested in joining a club in the Atlanta area, West Atlanta area, uh, look us up on the internet. It's West Georgia Coin Club. Uh, we'd be it's twelve dollars a year. You can auction stuff off. We would love to have you. Now, uh, before that, I made several videos of my vacation to uh, North Carolina to the Dragon Tail, Tail of Dragon, uh, Devil's Triangle with the Shelby with the Shelby Club. I hope y'all enjoyed that kind of stuff. I just wanted to share it with you, my experiences. I only showed a few videos that um, was appropriate for the channel. There's a whole lot more videos, which I might pick one and share again later on. Now, I got some silver proof sets uh, from the 60s. Uh, three of these are the same. And the other two are different, but uh, I bought 16 of these guys. They was not in the original envelope. They were just in the cellophane, um, sort of like, let me show you what they were in. They were just in regular envelopes, but they were in cellophane like this. All right, and that's that's another video. But anyway, stay tuned for that. Uh, I went to order envelopes, the original envelopes. You can or find envelopes on eBay and other places that are empty. And they were wanting four or $5 for them. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. That's too expensive. Uh, you know, time you buy 16 of them at $5 a piece, you see where I'm going with that. Now, I found these holders, they're uh, capital holders but they're red and I loved them and they were four and 50 a piece. And I was like, yeah, I'll just buy these and they look better in it. But first off, we got a 1962. Now these holders were new and look at them. They're already fingerprinted and everything else. But you know, that's just part of it. Um, this is a 62 proof set. Uh, it had tone in the original uh, in, uh, cellophane. I was going to say envelope. I didn't have any envelopes, but, uh, this is what you normally see. Now, if you wanted to take and dip these three silver coins, you can. Um, I didn't, I didn't do it because I wanted to keep them original so people know what they're getting. When they're like this, you know they ain't been touched or messed with. But as far as value, these things go for about $30, $35 a piece. Um, if you wanted to dip these three, you could still get $30 or $35 a piece for them. There's no... You know, you're not going to lose any money by dipping them. If I just about dropped it, though. Um, where's my little pointer at? Where'd he go? There it is. All right. 62 Franklin half dollar proof, 90% silver. This one's got a little cameo going on. I know it's hard to tell through the toning. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Maybe this thing will focus better. Uh, his head and everything's frosted. So this one's got a little cameo going on. I know you can't tell because of toning. Uh, the quarter's got toning on it also. Now, 62 proof quarters. What you need to look for... And this was not one. I don't have one to show you. But right in this area right here, there is a variety called the it'll have what's the word? Um it'll have a little spot on it. It's shaped in the letter D. It's not or you know, it's not there on purpose, so it's just a little extra material off the off the die 
and uh, it struck several hundred of them that right here there'll be a D so look on your 62s you know you can almost see something right there my eyes are probably anyway right there that's something to look for uh, I'll try to do another video on that but as far as that's concerned that's the first one I do have 362s and they've all looked similar as far as the toning goes that quarter's a little bit worse the nickel's got a blue tint to it it's kind of hard to tell in the video And one more 62 for good luck. And it's just as dirty as the others, but I'll clean them later. Next up is a 63. There's really no varieties on 63s. Now, 63 proof nickel. If this nickel was to grade in a 70, that's the highest grade there is. So MS 70, a proof, I said MS. If it graded a proof PR 70, it would be $600. And 67, or excuse me, in 69, it's only $42. So getting a 70 grade you think would be hard, but there is a couple hundred of them things graded a 70. So always look at your uh, mint sets, your 63, excuse me, 63 pro sets, and look at those nickels. Um, and you might look up and find one that's a 70. This one here is probably not a 70. It's probably a 68 gray. It's probably a $20. Uh, like I said, these sets are in the $35 range normally. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you is a little bit more expensive. But, um, real nice sets. And I like them in these holders. Now, you can get these holders these capital holders it'll say proof set and you can get them with the year so you can get one that says uh 1963 you can get them for uh all kind of different sets you can get them with the dollar coin uh some of them have a, a dollar coin in them some of them have uh, an eagle a spot for a silver eagle and then you have some that are like birthday sets that I'll have happy birthday set uh, and then the year, whatever year you were born or whoever was born and so on and so forth. Now the next one I got to show you is a 64 Kennedy proof set, that being the Franklin. We all know what Mr. Kennedy looked like, I hope. Uh, first year, 90%, only year, 90% silver. Um, half dollar this is a proof it is not the accented hair variety i don't look for that but this is a high grade proof set uh the reason i say that is this kennedy looks very nice as far as the grade is concerned it's probably a 68 which is not that crazy by itself in 68 it's probably a $40 coin now what is neat is the quarter is cameoed or deep cameo you can tell how the devices which is his head is frosty looking and the fields are mirror like which that's what it's supposed to be but a lot of times they're like 
they're like this they're not as you can see my reflection of the screwdriver there where you can't hear over the well you might see it a little bit on on the holder anyway this coin in 68 grade is 120 dollars by itself so this one is a lot more expensive i uh, pricing this one conservatively in the $70 range um, based on that uh, if it grade 68 uh, let's see here what else was it a uh, real nice 64 proof penny or excuse me scent uh, a lot of times these things are toned really dark it's not really red like that anyway i just want to share these few with you uh i bought a little side story i bought 16 of these guys in the cellophane um Bought 16 holders. And the first time I set up at our local flea market, I sold all of them except those five. Those five are the only ones I had left, and I thought I'd show them to you, make a quick video. And this was before I left for uh, my trip. I said, I better make a video on these guys before they were all gone. Anyway, please like, share, subscribe. If you like this kind of stuff, if you want a video that you know, if you want me to do a certain type of coin, let me know in the comments below. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time.